Why did I fear death when none cares? This question lingers in the air, heavy and haunting, a riddle that challenges everything we think we know about life, death, and the human spirit. It resonates deeply, doesn't it? This isn't just a philosophical inquiry. It's a raw, emotional confrontation with our existence. Hello, beautiful souls. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey of resilience, a story that will shake you to your core and ignite a fire within your heart. Imagine being thrust into the chaos of civil war, your world crumbling around you, every familiar face replaced by shadows of fear and uncertainty. This was the reality for Wu Deng Luth, the author of The Future Ahead, War and Willingness to Live. His narrative isn't merely about survival, it's a powerful testament to the indomitable human spirit. In the face of unimaginable adversity, Wu didn't just survive, he thrived. His journey from the war-torn streets of Sudan to becoming a beacon of hope is nothing short of miraculous. But let's circle back to that haunting question. Why did I fear death when none cares? It's a question that digs deep, challenging our instincts. In a world that often seems indifferent to our struggles, why do we cling so fiercely to life? Wu's story provides a powerful answer. Hope. Hope isn't just a feeling, it's a force. It's that flicker of light in the darkest moments, the push that propels us forward when every fiber of our being screams to give up. Wu's journey teaches us that hope isn't about waiting for better days, it's about creating them, even amidst chaos. His story reminds us that personal growth isn't a luxury reserved for peaceful times. It's forged in the crucible of adversity. Every challenge, every setback, every moment of despair, these are the raw materials from which we build our strength. But here's the real magic of Wu's story. It's not just about him. It's about you. It's about me. It's about every single one of us who's ever faced a moment where giving up seemed like the only option. Your battlefield might not be a war-torn country. It might be a classroom, a boardroom, or the quiet struggles within your own mind. But the lessons remain the same. Resilience isn't about never falling. It's about rising every single time you fall. Hope isn't a passive state. It's an active choice we make every day. Our struggles, no matter how personal, have the power to inspire others. So I challenge you today. Dive into Wu Deng Luith's incredible story. Let his words ignite a fire within you. Ask yourself, what battles am I facing? How can I transform my struggles into strength? Remember, you're not just surviving, you're writing your own story of triumph. And trust me, it's a story the world needs to hear. For those ready to embark on this transformative journey, the future ahead, war and willingness to live, awaits you. It's more than a book. It's a beacon of hope in a world that desperately needs it. So why fear death when none cares? Because you care. Your life, your struggles, your triumphs, they matter. They inspire. They change the world. Now go out there and live your story. The future ahead is bright, and it's calling your name.